That's right. After six years of van life, we've decided to call it quits. So today begins our final road trip of van life. And there are many reasons why we've made this decision and we'll explain all of that to you. But first, we have to cross the border from Mexico back into the States. This is the last Eamon and Beck van life video? I know, it's insane. I'm kind of excited about it. <laughs> Let's go. The truth is today isn't day one of our road trip. We actually left Cerritos three days ago. It was so hard to say goodbye. We had the most beautiful community of people at Cerritos Beach Dogs and just friends there. We know we'll be back. Uh, but the reason we didn't really film it or haven't been filming is Eamon has had salmonella poisoning, which is like been quite the wild ride and I've been doing all the driving. So back at the wheel today, you okay? You okay? <laughs> It's basically like a toilet roll a day. <laughs> basically, I've lost a lot of weight. Yeah. <laughs> but you're feeling better. You're on the up and up. Beck's been a real champ. I've been hanging out, getting some rest in the back most of the drive. Oh, so are you coming? Hey, hey buddy. You're my good boy. It's okay. Lie down, Os. Relax. We're here for a while. You, you want a Coco Frio? Last Coco Frio? I'm good right now. The craziest part about this video is us quitting van life is not even our big announcement. Stay tuned. Big announcement coming. Big announcement. A little military stop here. Hopefully we're friendly. Hey also. The checkpoints feel so intimidating because the military guys have these massive machine guns and they come into your home with their boots on and step on your furniture and open every compartment. Like they have touched my underwear and my toothbrush. And I think there's a really easy way to get really anxious about them. But in my heart, I feel like they're just trying to do their job and protect us while we travel here in Mexico. So it is what it is. We believe we are approaching a border that we've never actually heard of. Most people enter through Tijuana or Mexicali when you're coming to Baja. We're at one near Yuma. Yuma. We had to pull over because Eamon's having a little poopscapade, re seminella. Uh, I think part of it is the nerves because we never do so well getting into America, so wish us luck. On the map, it shows the border in two minutes and we're on the tiniest street in the world. Eamon just pointed out that we know we're in a border town because there's a hundred dentist shops and a bunch of implant shops, would you call it that? Which means that people just hop across the border and come. Oh, there's some gringos. Oh. Football ponchos. So obviously we're here. We've made it. Oh. Oh, wow. Okay. The time is two o'clock and we have just entered a massive line to re-enter the States. I think the reason you don't hear about this border town is it's very, very small. Best part though is they have these little vendors that come around so we could probably get a Coco Frio and have a little fun. No, gracias. No, solo uno. No, gracias. Hey, it's beautiful. For me, no. Gracias. Thank you. Didn't take a long frame to purchase something. What, you're not even going to use it now? Well, there's no sun. Exactly. It's just when the sun's coming in, you can block it. I like it. Coco Frio guys are killing it the most, aren't it? Hola, amigo. Uh, dos Coco Frios. That's a lot of water. Ah, gracias. I'll be back. I'll be back. Okay. Cheers, Cheers. Cheers. Cheers to enjoying the border. Wait. Mm. Kind of like a coconut and an implant, all in one. No, gracias. No, gra gracias. There we go. Okay. Okay. Also, here you go. Okay, thank you, bro. Gracias. Sir. God bless you, bro. Why does my heart beat so fast? Hello. Hello. How are you guys? Good. How are you doing? Good. Good. What are y'all bringing? Um. Nothing to declare. No. Just coming back. We have, I think. Two apples and some limes. You have apples? Yeah. You can't have apples? Oh, okay. okay.
Thanks so much. Thank, Thank you. you. Are we in our country? <laughs> you know what? I have a theory. It's you. I gotta be driving. They don't like you. They do not like you. I don't blame them. America Highway! This highway is luxury. Four days of driving through Baja. Wow, it's so smooth! Alright, so if you also struggle with border crossings, I would highly recommend that Los Algodones border. It's just east of Mexicali. We were through at 2.53. That was... Normally we're detained the whole shebang. Yeah. It really is such a crazy feeling coming back into America. It's like basically reverse culture shock. But if you look around and take away all the infrastructure and roads, billboards, it's basically Baja. Like it's beautiful mountains, desert, just massively developed. <laughs> yeah. right. The goal for today is to make it to Phoenix, Arizona. We just got a couple more hours until we make it to Phoenix, so I'm just heating up some lunch. Very carefully. on our cross-country road trip. We decided to make a chai and stop at a dog park because Oso is missing all of his doggy friends. You want this? So if we're all missing Mexico so much because we are, it's cold, we have sweaters on. It's Arizona cold, <laughs> I don't know what that means. Why on earth are we going home to Canada? The truth is there are two main reasons. The first one being that I am due for a mammogram and MRI, a check-in with my radiologist, oncologist, and it's really, really important to me that I prioritize my health. The second reason? is to launch our brand new tea company, which we have been working on for years. years. Everybody, meet, have it. We've got five brand new delicious flavors. Lavender mint chamomile, cream of Earl Grey, organic breakfast tea, organic turmeric ginger, and the most gorgeous, beautiful, delicious organic matcha. As well as the two chais you know and love from us, organic masala chai, our Roymus chai, which is nearly empty because it's a fan favorite. All of our teas are loose leaf and certified organic. Why we're so excited about this project, it's all about connection, community, and these are things that- Oh, I'm that... so excited to share this. <laughs> we'll tell you more in a little bit, but we really have to hit the road now. Basil. We've been driving for less than two hours and we are now in the mountains. There is snow. Talk about reverse culture shock. <laughs> if we thought 20 degrees at the dog park this morning was cold, oh my goodness. Snow? Well, this has been a buzzing drive. We just hit traffic that's gonna add 50 minutes and it's stopped. Stop. I've never been stopped on the highway like this. <laughs> you, want it, you want your window down? So we thought we'd take this opportunity to talk through the end of an era. Eamon and Becca in the future, it's important that you remember where you started. Uh, Say hello. Here we are, we've got, Eamon, what do you want here? Honey? I'm on honey and ginger. Honey, ginger. We've got I more like egg. Ginger. ginger. Thank you for supplying the home. Pleasure to have you guys. Remember your roots? Your ginger roots. <laughs> <laughs> 
Don't forget where you started. Down the stairs. Down to the mixer on the stairs here. It was too heavy to lift up. Never forget where you started. We built out our van and decided to live in our van to sell tea. This was before van life. You thought we were insane? Yeah. Today we're going down to Trinity Bellwoods Market, flea market. So we're gonna set up a little table, uh, hand out some samples, hopefully make some sales. And we thought we'd make a little video. Boom! It was all like the idea that we were going to these markets and we needed a bigger vehicle and we needed to fly Eamon to Vancouver to do more sales, but we didn't have the money to fly and get apartments and Airbnbs and rent cars. So we were just like, we'll just move it all into one van. We got a few more things to pack up. The van is basically converted from house to cargo van, ready to rock the show. Back to Trinity's original state, the cargo van. Even the design of the first van, Trinity, was to fit T underneath the bed. We had this big pull-out drawer, which we then, a few years later, once we started van lifing full-time, we changed the whole design because it didn't make any sense. Yeah, it was all about T. T. We actually traveled through India and Nepal learning about chai, fell in love with the culture, and came back to Toronto. I started working at a cafe serving great coffee, but their chai was like a syrup. So Beck and I developed our own blend, started selling to these amazing independent coffee shops. Ah, where I got a bit of traffic here. You want a matcha? Yes, please. Yes, please. To be here in this moment, ending the era of van life, being ready to move on from living so small and on the road all the time and being more grounded, to building a new improved version of our tea business and launching it. The fact that this coincided with the end of van life and this final road trip and... Yeah, that's funny. It's kind of magic. It's honestly magic. The day got away from us. Basically, we were stuck in traffic and the second the traffic started moving, we were like, we have to get moving. So we are now past Albuquerque and I think we're near Santa Rosa in New Mexico and we've turned to I Overlander. For again, the last time. I wish it was for the last time. We have a few more nights but again we're rolling in in the dark and apparently it's a good spot but it's a little sketchy getting there so just trust me. Here we go. Up the main road. This washboard road ain't got nothing on Mexico though. This is great! If you remember, Osa knows how to roll down the window. Getting here, but today's campground. So even though it's minus three degrees, he continues to roll down the window for himself. <laughs> Just as described, a blue gate. Are you gonna go out and do that? <laughs> oh my god, it's freezing! Bah! It's so cold! Ooh. Okay, let's go, let's go park. I'll make some soup for dinner. So, uh, who's taking him out? <laughs> can we just let, can we just let him out? Alright, see you later. This afternoon. No hesitation. 24 hours ago, we needed this to keep out the sun. I was just gonna say that. You bought that stinking shade cover? Now we're putting this up to trap in the heat. Alright, where's that soup you promised? Okay, okay. This is a day of driving. Tonight I'm going to be making Mama's gnocchi soup. It's available in our first cookbook. You're going to need some gnocchi. Normally I start by chopping up onions. I don't have any onions, so I'm going to go straight oh, in. Found a friend. Who? A dog? Yep. Oh, that's good. I'm going to start with heating up the plant-based sausage till it's nice and browned. Now we hit it with the garlic. Then I go in with as much garlic as you can deal with. Oh, wow. I add veggie broth and cans of diced tomato. Couldn't get the can opener to work, so I had to recruit sous chef. Might have little shards of metal in here. <gasps> don't, don't say that. I hope not. Found another thing of garlic powder. You just hit it, just hit it with more. <laughs> if you have fresh basil, that is a really, if you have. It's a real kicker. <laughs> <laughs> if you have fresh basil, it's a real kicker. Cut. The fresh basil adds a real kick. 
this is the part where us two chefs disagree quite a bit. I love to simmer. It needs to simmer. All the flavor comes from simmering. And uh, I'm just starving. He just I wants agree. to eat now. <laughs> but simmer. Simmer now. Now that you've simmered up, you grab your gnocchi. Now be really careful because these babies cook really quick. So you got to be ready to go. I love to add a ton of spinach. Like basically use this entire yes. box. There you have it, friends. So I was just thinking about how van life has all of these parallels to habit the brand we're building, how it's such a catalyst to real deep, meaningful conversation that when you're living off grid, you don't have the option to just be on your phone ignoring your spouse who just made me you a beautiful dinner. But here we have it. All kidding aside, every package of our tea goes out with conversation starters. And the other night, Eamon and I were going over them and just reviewing them before they went to print. And it was the first time in so long that we had these deep conversations with no internet you or loved anything. To, it. I loved it. We pop a few on the screen here. I don't want to give them away. We'll pop a few on the screen. Pop, 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 pop. <laughs> <laughs> I love you too, baby. Here's a good one for you. Okay. You're given the entire month off. Mm. What do you do? I would go to this retreat where the only thing you're supposed to focus on is yourself. I think with cancer, I gave myself the opportunity to really focus on myself. And it's been hard to find the balance of like mm. taking that time and getting back into the real world of starting this business and filming videos. And so for sure, I'd want to just like, yeah, it's somewhere warm, we're doing yoga every day, we're meditating, we're having like women's circles where we're talking about our real feelings. You and should do that. What Ooh. would you guys think of habit hosting a woman's only retreat like I just described? Because that would be a dream of mine. If you'd love it, let me know. It's delicious, baby, thank you. It's nice, huh? It's so healing. Wow, we need to head to Home Depot. <laughs> Get up, boss. Our bed has collapsed. That's been all that baby making. Amen! Oh my <laughs> god. Yeah, it's really broken. Yeah? Wow. Total failure. So it's not a major repair. I think I could probably do it for 10 bucks. And just to update you guys, we are one day and two hours away from home. That's about 1,700 miles. One of our genuine concerns and why we're ready to move out of the van is that it's just a little too small for Oso, so we really try to be conscious about getting him exercise, so Eamon's gonna take him for a burn as I drive down the washboard road this morning. <laughs> is that broken? The one wheel's frozen? Your battery temperature is out of its safety range. Oh. <gasps> Let's hit it. Get it out of your system, buddy. He's such a country boy. He's like, I know these gravel roads, I'm in. He's just pinning full speed. <laughs> Hasn't looked back once, by the way. Look at him go, wow. Oh, we don't need to stop at a dog park now. Yeah, that was a great idea. Wow, good job, buddy. Yeah, good boy. Yeah, good boy. Oh, hi. That was my good boy, Oso. Good boy, Oso. Yes. I guess it wouldn't be a real cross-country van trip without a few issues. The last day or two, I've noticed some squealing. I think it's from the turbo. You can hear it go. <laughs> like whistling kind of noise. The noise that you sent me on the video is a turbo. Yeah. Don't push it and slowly driving, come back. All right. I have the turbo here, I'll give you, okay? No problem. All right, you're a beauty, man. Thank you very much. I'll call you if I need you. Take care of Rebecca, okay? All right. I don't care nothing else except Rebecca first. Number one. Not even the turbo. F the turbo, man. Vasilis, <laughs> you're a beauty. How's the drive in, my buddy? 
Oh, careful. New smells? Welcome to Armadillo. Welcome to Armadillo. Armadillo. Thank you for shopping at the home. Okay, so my solution here is not gonna be totally permanent, just to get us through the rest of the trip. Wow. All right, that's your work. Oh, uh, baby! If you want to live in a van, you must be a handy person. I would have slept, honestly, with it broken for at least another two weeks. <laughs> but you're amazing, thank you. Want some soup? Yes, please. I think we're in Amarillo, not Armadillo. Mm. Yeah. We didn't make it too far. We need gas yet again. So I thought I'd stop and make us a matcha. Matcha is shade grown green tea and then it's stone milled into a powder. You actually get the full leaf as well as the stem. So it's the whole plant with all of the amazing antioxidants in there. I'm a hot beverage kind of girl. So I love having hot matchas, but they're really, really great iced as well. We know the farmers and buy from them directly and they actually play Mozart for their tea leaves. Oh, that looks so good. We've been sampling matcha for, I think, a full year now. Last taste test on the matcha. It's literally perfect. Ceremonial grade spring harvest. And if you don't like matcha or think you don't like matcha, it's simply because you haven't had Drink Habits matcha. We've been working on these for so long. They're all certified, organic, and direct trade. We buy them directly from the farmers and they're just delicious from natural ingredients. It is really cool. Is that a little too salesy? I'm sorry if it was salesy, <laughs> but like that's how I feel, and I'm I am really pumped for you to try them. And now we're hitting the road with the goal of making it to Tulsa. Oh, oh, so are you comfy, buddy? Tulsa, Tulsa Oklahoma. Oklahoma. Which, if any of you are Friends fans, I genuinely thought that maybe wasn't a real place, but Chandler goes to Tulsa for work. Friends nerd. All right, let's hit the road. You're gonna love Oklahoma. Another full day in the car. Ugh. We just made it to OKC. We're uh, making our way to Tulsa now. That's all I got. <laughs> hey, how's it going? We just had a beautiful dinner. We decided we weren't gonna vlog this evening. I was sitting there thinking about how tomorrow I want the whole day to be about all the many things I've loved about van life. I really don't want to end van life on this negative note, but um, I went to do the dishes from dinner and Eamon had to use the toilet and he started making noises and I just said like, I'm just done. I'm just done. Six years later, I would love a little space. Well, salmonella is salmonella. <laughs> Baby, I I'm sorry if that came off as like, I was like, you got to do what you got to do. I'm just ready to not be where you're doing the do. I get you. Yeah. Tomorrow we'll talk all about how much we love van life. Okay, okay. Good night. Thanks for having us, Walmart. Always a good sleep. Also come. So this is my first ever Taco Bell experience. Taco Bell, three to ten. Let's get back on the road. We have the crazy goal of crossing the Canadian border today, so we need to burn out the boy. Excuse me, also. Also, come. Good listening. <laughs> concussion. <laughs> as much as we're excited to move on from the chapter of van life, I just wanted to take a minute to thank van life. 
It has opened up our lives in the most beautiful ways. We met Lee through van life. We met so many friends through van life. Oh. Oh. Lover party! Oh. <laughs> I'm sleeping with Nate. <laughs> Good night. And I feel like everything we're trying to achieve with Habit is such a beautiful parallel to the gifts of van life, which are community, deep, meaningful conversations. <laughs> really just the ability to slow down and live a more meaningful, free life. So thank you, van life. We love you. I know that habit is going to have a really positive impact on the world. Grounding, community, conversation, and what we want to do as a brand is bring that to life through retreats and experiences and little things, but really big things as well. And I just, I feel very aligned. So aligned. It's a very, very beautiful place to be. So be sure to follow Drink Habit on Instagram and subscribe to our email list because we have got some exciting plans for this van. Yeah. And we're gonna announce it all on those platforms. It's back on the road, but potentially for the last time. We are approaching the Ziboda. Always get the little butterflies in the tummy. Yeah, and we're gonna go with the approach of back in the driver's seat again. I'm not works. gonna say anything. Yeah, don't say a thing. All right, big boy. Palms are sweaty, knees weak, arms are heavy. Vomit on your sweater already. Mom's spaghetti. You better lose yourself in the music the moment you own it. You better never let it go. Hi, bonjour. How are you? Uh, where do you live? Uh, Canada. No, you stay. You stay. Come home, have a good day. Thanks so much. Thank you. Have a good one. All welcome. right. Good job, baby. Yay! Welcome home! <laughs> also, welcome to Canada, welcome baby! Welcome home, buddy. We drove 3,000 miles from Mexico to Canada for our first stop in Canada mm. to be burritos. This is so much better than Taco Bell. A little bit cool. <laughs> All right, baby. Now we got a three hour drive and we're home. Not really home, we're going to her parents' place, but basically home. Do you know, do you know where Oso. we are? Let's go say hi, come on. Also, do you know come where on. we are? Also, where are you going? No, 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 wrong house. Everything about the van sounds terrible. Oh, the van door. Is TLC. Where are we? Hello! Oh. Hi! <laughs> How are you? Now that we've caught up with family, it's time to head home to the cabin. But before we do, one last stop at the office. I guess Bob hasn't updated the sign. It's super exciting because we have been working for a year on this packaging and today is the first time we're gonna see it and feel it in person. Out with the old. Uh, yeah, this is crazy. This, this has been a long time coming. Oh. My favorite one, the mint. Bob, we're missing one. Ooh, Primo. Primo, it comes in a sealed bag. This is awesome. This is really cool. Can we open this? Look how green that is. Uh, does Oso eat peanuts? Would he eat one of these big nuts in it? Bob, Oso eats rocks. The dude eats anything. <laughs> Welcome to Habit, the evolution of Chaiwala. Chaiwala 2.0, and the whole purpose of that is to, yes, expand our offerings, but also expand the purpose and the vision of the company. We're so excited for everything we have planned for Habit and what it means to evolve in this way. So excited to introduce you to the full lineup of Habit teas. We have organic breakfast, organic Earl Grey, organic rooibos chai, turmeric ginger, organic masala chai, and organic chamomile. <laughs> Mint and lavender. Plus we have an organic matcha that's really beautiful and some drawstring tea bags that are biodegradable and bleach free. And especially if you know and love the existing chai, I can't wait for you to get your hands on this because it's the exact same flavor, possibly better. It's definitely better. Don't forget that every package of Habit is sent out with one of our conversation starters. We're so excited about these. Each card has a question on each side and there's 10 at the moment. So every order you can collect a new one. Love it. Love it! <laughs> it's so exciting.
excited. Habits now live. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to check it out. Yeah, true. Okay, so head Feel over free. to drinkhabit.com to place your order for some of our delicious tea. Follow us on Instagram and tag some of your moments. Like sit down with a friend and we'd love to see some of those conversations. Remember when we used to sign off our videos saying, go call someone you love and tell them you love them? I'd love to bring that back and uh, make it a part of habit. Have a tea and go call someone you love. Tell them you love them. With or without habit tea. That's just a nice <laughs> thing to do. True. <gasps> see you Sunday. Also. Hey, are you excited? Just a little. Also, we're almost there. We got some mail. Let's go home. Oh. I'm just so happy seeing how happy he is. He's running straight up. Also, wait. He's gone. He's gone home. Good boy, yeah. All right, buddy, we made it.